Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to be moving across the studio in a moment to take a look at a piece of equipment that our famous Chris is going to be taking apart. It is the Whelan 600 series linear super LED light head made by Whelan Engineering available here on Sirennet. And Chris is going to take it apart right now. So let's go across and see what he's got. Well, thank you, Stuart. Well, you've told him exactly what I have here in my hand. So nitty grittiness out of the way. We'll go ahead, start taking it apart and show you the inside goodies of this 600 series LED light head that Whelan Engineering makes. It's been around for many years now. This one happens to be blue, obviously, which is shown by the color of the lens, but also by the color of the diodes inside of the light head. And I'll show you that in a moment here. Really, the 600 series gets its name from the fact that it is a six inch light head. It's designed for a surface mount on the exterior of your application. Usually you see them on large ambulance bodies, big DOT trucks, and any kind of fire service rig, be it big or small. Brush trucks, aerials, rescues, tenders, you name it, it's usually on there. The light head itself has had a few changes over the years. One of the changes is that Whelan has added this yellow dot here. It's the Gore-Tex breather, which covers a hole that's intentionally done in the back of the housing here, and that's so air can escape from inside of the light head. Once I take this apart, you'll see that inside here, between the reflector, the diodes, and the lens assembly, it's really all open, so you do have air that's inside the light head. To take it apart, it's a bit of a simple process. Six screws on the back, small Phillips, hold the diode and reflector assembly into the front lens and front polycarbonate housing. And take the body mount off. Also, there's a rubber sealing gasket that you can see here, nice and heavy duty. So when it's flat mounted on your application, this will go against the body panel. The light head will then go into the rubber to help seat it nice and cleanly on the application. A few years ago, the light head itself was completely the same as far as its looks. Difference was that the front lens used to be able to be removed. So you can see here, trying to pry the two apart, or really even hold it upside down, give it a shake, the lens does not come off like units in the past. So it's a nice function that Whelan's done just to make them a bit of a more rough and tumble unit and just gives them that much of a better, tighter seal against condensation on the outside of the rigs. Has a four wire pigtail harness here. You have your ground signified by the black. Blue lead trigger wire, different than what you'd usually see in a red trigger wire, but Whelan likes to use a color matched lead for showing what the light head itself is going to be when it powers up. So in the case of not having a blue lens to match, if you had a clear, it'd be a little hard to tell what color it was until you put it to 12 volts, turned it on. You have a violet wire, which is your high-low function, so you can reduce the intensity for nighttime use, followed by the fourth world-famous white with violet, which is wheel and scan lock function. So when you have the light head powered up to 12 volts, take this, momentarily tap it, not to your finger unless you're electrified, Usually, sometimes I am, you can tell by the hairdo, but 12 volts, when the light head's on flashing, momentarily tap it, it'll advance flash patterns. And I'll show you that a little bit later here on once I put the head together from taking it apart right now. So like I mentioned, six Phillips head screws, line of two, line of two, another line of two here. So now I can grab the back of the unit here, separate the two components. So you can see that you have a housing with a epoxy sealed fancy electronic board. So you have a series of diodes, a total of eight, four on this side, four on this side, four connection pins in the center, which are soldered into the board, which are actually the harness connection points. 
So behind the epoxy, were this all to be removed, these solder points would then travel to the flasher modules and the other conduction points in here that tell the diodes what to do as far as their flashing, how fast, or reducing their intensity based on the high-low trigger wire. Unit itself here, you can see it's a bit dished in, so when the board pops onto the back, it's nice and flush. What we have here in the center is a diffuser system that Whelan does in many of their larger surface mount heads. Basically, it's a two-piece system that you can call an hourglass diffuser. So if you look right here, it's an hourglass, plain and simple. You have a total of eight hourglass diffusers, one going over each of the eight diodes here. And what this does is it helps to intensify the output of the eight diodes themselves. So I'll put this to power really quick, taking away the optics and the outside reflector. So you can really see how this changes the intensity that the light head has. So go ahead, turn the unit on. You can see it is nice and bright. Don't get me wrong, they are nice and potent diodes, but if you had it just mounted like this with just a clear lens over it to keep it sealed, you're really going to lack a lot of the intensity that the unit can in fact produce with the assistance of the hourglass booster optics. You can even see a bit of a change in that if I take the one piece lens section here, set this back over, again, you can see it's a nice and bright light head but it really doesn't quite gain the spread into the top of the lens and into the bottom lens that the two-piece hourglass booster will help it get. And so again, I'll put it back together. You can see how the intensity is going to change with the addition of the optics put back in. So again, I'll take this away here. What's neat is actually if you take a look kind of through the lens here, hopefully the camera can pick it up kind of going through the reflectant, you can see that inside here you have a hatching in the lens. So again, it's a optic that Whelan does specifically in the lens coating itself to help get more light all through the light head itself. Go ahead, take these away from the power source here quickly. So now that I've given you a bit of a look at the insides and shown you how the optics boost the intensity of the unit, go ahead, quickly reassemble it here. So our glass will go in here. Easy to set back in, goes right in track. Just make sure that you have the top going to the top, bottom going to the bottom, again, to make the hourglass form. Let's take the diode assembly, place it back on, fits really nicely into the polycarbonate housing here, both the bottom, the top, left and right side. So it fits in there perfect every time. So you're not ever going to have screws that are misaligned or a housing that's a little off kilter when you reassemble it. Go ahead and tighten the six screws back into the unit to seal the diode assembly back of the housing into the reflector and front lens. And there we have it. Six of those nice little wheel and screws back in. So housing's reassembled in one nice tight piece again. So again, if I give it a pull, again, try to pull the front lens off, you can see it's really nice and well put together. So really rough, really tumble. It'll definitely survive the exterior use on your big application. So again, gasket goes around the back here. Don't forget to put your pigtail through the center. Gonna leave this set aside for the moment. 
and reapply power to again show you how the light head does so much better in its intensity when it's all put together with the hourglass and the diodes going through the optics. It's definitely see, it's nice and potent. So it definitely blinds out the cameras as well as gets the attention that's necessary for safety around the vehicle. So again, be it law enforcement, DOT, fire and rescue service, 600 series is available in any of the safety colors you may need. And again, gives you a lot of warning power. If I take violet trigger wire here, like I mentioned, apply it to positive 12 volt source reduces the intensity of the light head. And the light head intensity is reduced as long as the violet stays to a constant 12 volt source. So it's not like changing flash patterns where it's a momentary 12 volts, it needs to be steady. So as long as it's on there, it'll be in low mode, take it away from 12 volts, kicks back up into high intensity. It's a really nice function. So day night operations, you can ease the uh, intensity on the eyes of the operators again, as well as traffic around the vehicle, around the scene. Scan lock wire. This is the momentary process. So take your 12 volts, quick tap. Each tap advances it to the next flash pattern. So once it's selected to one that you like, just simply stop the process, leave it applied to a ground, a lead source, route them to your controller in the vehicle, and there you have it. So again, show you a couple more with a few more taps here. You can see Whelan has something in here that'll really suit any need. There's fast, there's slow, there's even a few patterns that are more of a randomized, like you can see here. So there you have it. Close up look at Whelan's 600 series super LED light head. Thanks for spending a few minutes here with me on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it. I couldn't say it better myself. That's Chris. I'm Stuart. You've been watching SirenNet Television. Thanks for watching.